hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for a vlog finally i am back to my vlogging game this week i've got kind of like a little bit of a chill week so i thought it'd be quite a nice one to vlog i've got like bits and pieces going on here and there but i'm not like chaotically busy it's kind of more of like a prep week for me so i thought this might be quite a nice one to document actually heading out today i'm going to go to the hairdressers because i think i spoke about it on here but i'm going dark brown i'm um, literally like dark in my root next week a week today and I'm slightly petrified, but I need to have a skin test to check that I'm not allergic to the tint. So that is what we're doing today. And I'm going to head out just kind of like to the shops as well, go to the charity shops. And I'm also going to try and work on a little project, which I might try and document in this vlog as well. I've got London Fashion Week coming up. I've got it literally end of next week. And I want to make a pair of jeans for one of the shows. Um, kind of like what I did for this year's concert. I want to paint them and just kind of make them my own. So I'm going to try and go to the charity shop, try and find a pair of denim jeans that I can kind of upcycle. And I think it's cool to have some nice pairs. So I'm going to document that as well. I've made a little mood board for that of how I want it to look. And hopefully we're just going to have a productive week. It is sweltering in the UK right now. It's actually 31 degrees. And all I want to do is have pumpkin spice latte, listen to Taylor Swift, watch Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girl and just like cuddle up. And it is just so hot. I've actually packed away like all my summer stuff. So I've got on this addicted top which I actually really like. It looks a bit dressy. I'm usually going down the road but it looks a bit dressy. Um because I literally don't have any of my summer stuff still out. So that's ideal. But I feel like I shouldn't complain because it is actually gorgeous weather, but just like, where was this? The whole of the June, July, August, summer. But anyway, we move. I just put on a quick bit of makeup, put my hair up because I just feel like it's gonna get on my nerves because it's just too hot. And we're gonna head to the hairdressers and fingers crossed that I'm not allergic to the tint because if I am, I actually don't know what happens. Like, does that mean I can't go brown? I don't know. But we shall see, and I'll bring you guys along. So I feel like I was in a bit of a rush when I filmed that. Um, sorry about the knickers that were out in the drawer, and sorry about the mess behind me. I was filming and using my clothes rail, and it's actually the clothes that I actually use in my room, so I had to take all of my coats and everything off that. So that is why my room is one big fat mess, and it needs tidying, it needs clearing up, my mum's going to moan at me. Um, and I will do it when I get back. But right now... Sorry, literally my room is so messy. But I, I guess like YouTube is real life, so... It's not always this messy, I promise. I'm gonna head out now. Before I get too late, go and see Millie and fingers crossed I can get my hair done dark. I don't know, I'm scared, guys. Like like that. My hair is actually getting quite dark. But oh, it's quite dark. Oh, I'm scared, let's go. guys can see me because this light is just so bright i just come to the little kind of garden area near where i live just to try and sit i'm going to sit and do some editing i got the skin tint done skin skin test done Millie just put on like the tiniest little bit of tint behind my ear and i've just got to wait 24 hours and see if i have like any itching redness anything like that i didn't actually ask what happens if i am allergic to it so fingers crossed i'm not i mean at the moment i can't feel anything so fingers crossed we'll be all right um, because I did have a bleach test once and like at Tony and Guy after lockdown and I was allergic to the bleach that's why I literally couldn't get my hair done there anymore I couldn't get highlights which is why I kind of stopped going blonde I think that was a sign so I'm just seeing it as if this is no good then it's a sign oh my god my sunglasses so yeah I'm just sitting in this little park area now it's really cute it's so sunny it literally feels like I'm in like, Italy or somewhere and I'm thinking I'm just gonna like sit and do some editing on my phone because I've got a few bits of work that I need to do and then I'll walk up to the charity shops I was gonna try and like just move board for my jeans. I feel like I kind of know a little bit what I wanna do, but I'm gonna make like a full on plan. So when I get back, maybe we can start them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I might even read my book. I bought my book here as well. So it's just so peaceful and quiet and nice. And I feel like this is just like the last bit of summer that we're gonna have. So I'm trying to make the most of it. I'm trying not to go into my autumn girl vibes too soon. But yeah, I'm just grateful to be sat here outside in the little park. Hope you can hear me because there's a water fountain literally behind you, but. Also, if anyone wondering, this is the book that I'm reading. I started reading it in Swanage and then just never got to finish it. And I don't really know how I haven't finished it before now because 
I feel like on holiday I just read so much and as soon as I come home I just kind of lose the rhythm of it but I'm obsessed with this book. I This is like the sequel to Family Upstairs and I'm just obsessed with these books. I feel like I like a lot of just romance novels. I also love Colleen Hoover, Page Two and stuff like that whereas this is a little bit more, it's got a little bit more going on. It's got a bit more of like a mystery undercurrent and like crime and it's just so like I can't describe it it's just like unique like all the characters are unique their backstories it goes into so much detail and yeah i just absolutely love it so i am nearly finished i'm literally like there i don't know if you guys can see where the page is creased there i'm nearly finished this book and i highly recommend lisa jewel i've also read a few other lisa jewel ones as well um i think it was like you found me and another one i've read i can't remember what they were called but i've enjoyed all of her books so i highly recommend but it was i managed to get a pair of jeans that are like actually a really good fit and length and they were only five pounds they are zara ones just got them there and then i also just went to the shop and i got a drink i feel like i love a little corner shop because i love having like a different you know when you're on, on holiday and like the shops on holiday that's literally like what little corner shops are like so it's got a bib and toe raspberry orange passion fruit drink walking back now i'm very hot i end up spending a lot of time in the park reading my book so it's probably get back now and actually do some work. Um, and then I just popped to the shops as well. And I just got some cottage cheese and jalapenos because I really want to make that for lunch. So I'm going to go home, have some lunch because I'm starting to get very hungry. It's like three o'clock. And yeah, my bag smells of lavender because I picked up one of those little like lavender bunches. And so yeah, we're just heading back now. And I'll catch up with you guys when I'm home. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me because of the fan, but I am back from the shop. So I got some cottage cheese, we're gonna try and make some lunch. I got some jalapenos because I literally have jalapenos on absolutely everything. And then I got three lemons. And um, so in the morning I've been having this drink. I feel like I need to like vlog in the morning, but I've been having this drink, which is salt and lemon. And apparently it's like meant to like help your gut health. So I got some more lemons to do that as well. So I'm just gonna pop these away. Not quite sure what I'm gonna put this on. I think I've got some rice cake. Let's have a quick look. Also, one thing about me is that I will put chili flakes on absolutely everything. And this salt. In here we have Morden salt. I've never actually heard of this before. My mum actually heard of it and it's literally just salt, but I can't describe it. It's the best salt I've ever had in my life. It's like really chunky and it's like not too salty, but like it's like the big nice chunks of salt. I literally can't describe it, but it is the best ever. Like I literally put it on most things. Which probably isn't a good thing, but I feel like because it's quite like chunky bits, maybe it's a bit more natural. But yeah, this is what I'm going to put on with the jalapenos, my cottage cheese. Okay, so here we have my finished result. I feel like this is such a girl dinner girl dinner i would literally film a, what i eat in a day for you guys but i literally eat such weird things so no one would probably want to see that but i'm gonna sit and have this now and then i need to do some editing and pack because i'm gonna go to danny's tonight so i need to pack my bag for that as well so hello guys sorry i've been so bad at vlogging that is train today and i'm very happy because i have a clear carriage I'm actually on my way to London, it's a few days later, and I'm going to meet Emily to do some shoots. Um, I've got to shoot this like, little addicted ad and another ad that I have to do. Um, so I'm literally just on the train now, but all the trains are like really delayed, and it's just so hot, I'm like 
majorly struggling. So I've just been painting the last few days. I've really got into my painting mojo and I literally, the whole day yesterday, I just like painted. And I was just sat there like naked, basically, because it was so hot. Um, so I'll show you guys the jeans so far when I get home. And I just thought I'd vlog this like little shoot day with Emily. Um, like it's not like a full on shoot day, but it's kind of just a few pictures. But you can see how we do our pictures, where we go. I'm gonna head to Bank. Um, which is central line so we need to go to Bond Street and then I will change there to go to the bank very loud literally can't even hear myself I think um, yeah and I'm literally on the train at 10 o'clock in the morning and it looks like I'm about to go climbing so we love those vibes but these ones I'm just just too hot this is also making me look really really pale but then the other setting is making me look like I was in the shadows so I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I'm with Emily. And hopefully we can manage to get some pictures because like I said, it's just too hot. And I thought by now I'd be trying to shoot some awesome content, some like cozy vibes. But the, next the weather is saying otherwise. Yeah. Hi guys, so I've started vlogging a little bit late. I'm here with Emily. Um, we are in Bank and we're outside. This is like Grind. It's actually like a really cute little cafe. Everything's pink. <laughs> yeah, everything's pink. I feel like I've had like the coffee from here before and it's so nice. And I got a little iced chai latte and we're on outfit two. I feel like we're actually like quite successful with outfit one. Yeah, we got it quite quick, 12 o'clock. We met at 11, so. Yeah, met at 11 and we've already smashed one and we've got videos and everything. Yeah. So, going good. Uh, it's suddenly just starting to get a little bit busy. I think everyone goes on like their lunch break, like yeah. around this time, which is a bit annoying. So we had like free reign of this whole cafe the whole time and now it's just starting to get a bit busy. But yeah, we're gonna shoot look two and then I'll show you guys the next like shoot location. But yeah, this is literally where we are. I never really come to this part of London other than to shoot. But if you're an influencer, then this is like a really good, yeah, it's a really good spot. Cause we've got like cute little cafes. There's like cute little buildings. And there's like a mix of like old and new. Like there's so like really modern buildings. And then some really kind of like old ones. I wonder how, can you get up there? How should you get up there? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're gonna carry on. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys when we're at our next little location. Um, and we've just got to get one more picture and then we're done. So it was very successful. 